What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I do want to mention that this video will be a series. So there will be different videos showing you guys how to do various different things. So the reason I want to make this a series is because if you already know what you're doing, I want you guys to be able to go to the direct videos that you guys need to do. Just know when this video is released, there will not be any other videos until those videos are released. So if you're watching this from a year from now, the videos are probably most likely already released and in a playlist where you guys can skip right to them. But if not, just wait for those videos or go find another video that shows you how to install scripts and cards, but we'll be going over that later on in the series. So here, what you guys wanna do is go to 5m.net and uh, you can download 5m, which is the entire software. Just make sure you guys have GTA 5 installed which you can connect 5M to. But what you guys are going to do is click on make your own server, which should bring you to the guide and everything you need. What you guys are going to want to make sure you guys have is Visual C++, the latest version. Um, it could be the 2019 or newer. It can't be 2018 or less as it will not work. As it also states here, you also could use JIT. Um, just note, you do not need to use it. It's just helpful. But the one thing you guys are going to want to make sure you guys do have installed is WinWatch, which will help you extract certain folders to the right folder. So right here, we have the first step in the installation is to create the new directory for an example of FX server slash server. This will be used for the server binaries, which means it's where all your server files will be hold and where your cache folder will also be for the server itself. So for the first step in the installation, you can see it says here, create a new directory for an example, d the D drive, FX server, and then you just have the server folder itself. This will be used for the server binaries where all the server information and stuff is held. So what you guys want to do is make that. Uh, you don't even need to use the D drive. You can use your C drive as well. Um, it's more recommended as I have multiple servers running off of this as well, two servers I'm using, as well as a server I'm currently making. We'll go more into that later on, but because um, I already have the server FX server um, made, we're just going to use it a different name. Uh, you guys can use the name. Um, you guys can use any name you want or FX server, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use video to video tutorial. If I can spell video right, so video tutorial. What you guys want to do is come up to the next step, which is not really the next step. It's still in the first step, and you guys want to come in here and make the folder server. There you go. So now we have a server directory right there. You're, what you guys want to do is open it. Come over here. You can see download the latest master branch folder for Windows. So that's what you guys are going to do. You guys want to come over here to this and download the latest one. I do want to mention that this updates all the time and you do not need to worry about keeping it up to date, but you can if you want to. I do want to make this clear. Um, you could be watching this from a year from now. This number of 2,882 will 100% be different. From a year from now, that could be in the 3,000s as it's very close or from almost 4,000s. Um, but just note, it will work either way. I would just say every 1,000 to 2,000, try to keep it updated, maybe. Um, but that's fully up to you. But the latest is recommended and like it says up here, latest recommended and latest is optional. Just do not go fully down as it will not help you later on. So right here, I would recommend downloading the one with the blue icon as that is the latest one. What I would do right now is click it and it should automatically download the server file. Because you have downloaded WinWar already, when you click it, it should open WinWar. What you're going to want to do is come over here to the server directory, which is your C drive video and then mine's video tutorial or it could be something different slash server make sure it's in the server directory or it won't work for you so what you're going to want to do is select all which you can press command a and then click extract to which is this blue folder when you click that you're going to come over here and this is the destination path what you're going to do is highlight that all get rid of it and replace it with the directory you just copied then what you're going to do is you're going to press ok and as you guys can see from what's happening, this whole directory that we just downloaded is now in our server file directory. You can now exit that out. You can exit this tab. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip over to step four because we already did step three following with step two. What are you going to do is you're going to go back to your main folder. 
you're going to download the cfx-server-data. What you're going to do is click clone, download zip, which if you have Winmar, like I said, it will download the zip file. So this is going to be easier than them all. What you're going to do is you're going to copy this directory of video tutorial. You're going to click that folder, extract to, do the same thing, and then press OK. As you can see here, we now have that folder, which has your resources, which is all your 5M main stuff that you need to run this server. You can also read the readme if you guys want to, but for the sake of this video, you do not need to. And for the sake of the readme, you do not need it in your directory. What you can do now is exit the WinWar. You can exit the tab. And then because we already done step three and we already extracted it over, and we already did step four. Now we can move on to step five, which is the server.cfg file. So in, your, in the cfx-server data that we just made, what you're going to want to do is create new text document. You're going to select all, get rid of the .txt. Just type in server.cfg. And then just press enter. This prompt is going to come up for the rename, which is also going to change the directory. Press yes. And what you're going to want to do now is because we already got the server.cfg, we're going to come down here to the example, which you can just click that. It'll be at the bottom. What you can now is just copy this right here. Copy it from the top to bottom. Come over here to the .cfg that we just made. Right click. If you guys have Notepad++, I would recommend using that. It is way better. And So now that we're in the server.cfg file, what you're going to want to do is press Control V. If you don't want to do Control V, you can just always right click, paste. What you guys want to do is you're going to come up here to the very top. I would recommend for the sake of um, if scripts fail, just type in restart session manager. What you're going to want to do is save that. And then, um, as you guys can see at the very top of the page, we have the, the uh, TCP port and the UDP port. Uh, most ports are 30120, um, some are 30110, um, which is just used to help you join the server. I do want to mention. Um, if you guys are running a 5M server, I would recommend going to your internet provider settings and open the port 30120 and any port that you plan on using for your servers, like 30110 and then 30120, which it will help you in the future for when people are trying to join your server. After you do that, what you guys are going to want to do is go all the way down at the bottom. Right here, you'll see your license key for your server. What you're going to want to do is open up the keymaster.5m.net and go to it and then you can type in your server's port or your port on your computer so you can be able to get the license key. I'm not going to show that tutorial here as I have so many keys and um, I can't make any more. Um, but it, it's very simple when you get to the page. It's very self-explanatory. You're just going to go there, click create a new key or something like that and then you just type in your port. Uh, say if it's server hosted or home hosted. In this sake, you'll say home hosted. Um, so in this case, you'll just place the key here with your license key here. Like right there. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to put a key there. Um, I will show you. I'll put my own key in there when it's time to show the sake of going into the server. So to be able to start the server, there is a there is a way to do it, but there's an easier way that I like doing it, which I'll be showing you guys in this video as well. You guys are gonna, what you guys are going to do is you're going to right click, then go into text document, and then you can just type in server starter not CMD. Same thing with the CFG, you're just going to click yes. Then what you're going to do again is you're going to right click it, edit with notepad plus plus, and then what you're going to do is at echo off title 5m server the, the title can be anything you guys want it's just 5m server is just more to because why not and then just type in echo dash echo and then and do like in schemes video tutorial and then echo dash just so you guys know these dashes are more like splitting it up the text so it displays like that 
and then we're going to do pause and start. Make sure to put a space, by the way. Start. Um, we'll get to the start thing because that's going to be a long piece of code that we can get to right after. And then do title, 5M server, and then here you can just say exit. So come back up here to the start text that we just did. What you're going to do is capital C for the directory. And then you're going to do this, the colons and then do the forward slash or backslash, whatever, whatever, whatever the slash is. I'm not good with slashes. And then you're going to do the uh, directory, but you can see the directory up here. It's video tutorial. Make sure to copy that exactly. If you don't copy it, you're going to have a problem. And then do the same slash. And then make sure to direct it to the server folder. And then do the slash again. And then fx server.exe. If you guys know what that is, that's the 5ms thing for a, um, what do you recall? That's in the, it was in the master branch file that we downloaded earlier in the video that where that located. And then we're going to, we also need to get the server.cfg file included in this. We're going to do plus execute, which is this exec server.cfg. Then what you can do is press save and then that should all be done. You can exit that out. And then I'm going to go get the server key installed on my end so I can go ahead and start the server and be able to show you guys. So when you guys get everything finished, you already got your license key, you got the port and stuff finished, it is now time to start the server. So what you're going to do is when you got this finished with the server starter CMD, you're just going to double click on it. What you can do is here you can click any key to continue, I just like clicking enter because it's the most common thing to click. So what you're going to do is click enter. It's going to go through everything in the server. Um, this might come up for a window security alert, but that's okay. Just click allow access. It's, it'll be for um, police. Not police. It'll be so people can join. So as we can see, the server is started. What we're going to do is we're going to head on over to 5M, and we're going to see if we can join the server. So at the bottom of the screen, you guys can see I still have the CFG file, so, so you guys can, not the CFG, the CMD file where you guys can see it. Um, as you guys can see, I already have it, I already have my IP connected here. Uh, just know if you guys type in the IP anyways, you'll be directed to my server anyways, or the server might not longer be playable. So as you guys can see, it says FX server, but unconfigured. That's because we haven't gave the server a name. So what we're going to do is just press connect and you guys can s probably see at the bottom of the screen it says connecting in SCAN. That means we are connecting to the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close that so we can see the server exactly how it is. As we can tell as of now the server is joinable and we can join the server and play it as it was GTA Online or single player. But you guys can go ahead and invite your friends as well. And um, if you guys want to see another episode of this, just hit the like button. Tell me what you guys really want to see and what you guys really need help with down below. But just know this will be a series and a playlist. So there's more episodes to this uh, 5M development to come, which will include how to install maps, cars, um, clothing, and stuff like that to this series. So I do hope you guys all enjoyed and welcome to your very own new 5m server just know we can't do anything we're just playing it like it was online or solo that we can't really do anything everything still as is with 5m um it's really really cool so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one